Hey, Bull, good to see you. Um, what what can you share about your off season and, and you know, kind of what areas of your game were you were you honing in on? Um, off seasons are pretty busy, just a lot of solo work with my trainer. Um, we basically just been watching film and just been sharpening like little things that I need to fix in my game and like just like where to be, the spots and uh, patience and all type of stuff. And that's what I've just been working on most. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Um, hey, Bull, what, um, you were obviously one of the clear stars in Summer League. And, and what can you take from that momentum here going into uh, training camp? And, and then what do, you, uh, what do you expect of yourself? What, what's going to allow you to, to get on the court consistently for this team this season? Um, I'm just going to carry on what, I, what was my main goal in Summer League, which was just to play hard through no matter what, missing shots, all that, that defense, just keep getting better. And that's what I need to carry on this year. And, for the whole year and not just when things are going good for me. I just got to focus on staying locked in the whole year, even when things aren't going my way. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Bull, did the Nuggets ever approach you during this offseason about uh, various traits or skills that, that they're hoping for you to work on to just get on the court more consistently? Uh, no, with me, everything is more so than like actual game. So I just got to figure that stuff out. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, well, good to see you. Uh, Michael Porter told us that he had been texting you, asking you to hang out and work out with him at night. Just wondering if you had taken him up on those offers. Um, This was recently, so like last week. And we've been busy playing and all that. But we haven't yet. But me and Mike have been close for a long time. And this year, he's just been trying to – he said he's just going to stay on me to make sure I do those other things. I go to the gym with him, get extra shots, extra – and I think that that's a good thing for me, and I'm glad that he's doing that. That's, that's really good. Harrison Wind, DNVR. Hey, Bull, good to see you. Uh, the Nuggets haven't had a G League team in the past. They do this year. Is that something you'd be open to, playing with the G League? Is, is that something that you want, just to try to get more playing time and more experience? How do, how do you see that? That's not what I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> Chris Marlowe, Altitude Sports. Hey, Bull, um, it, there seems to be not, not confusion, but try, they're trying to figure out where to play you. you know, I mean, you have the height of a center, but you have the skills of a power forward and a small forward. Uh, which position do you enjoy playing more? Where would you like to get your playing time if you can? Um, me personally, I like the four, but wherever I can find some playing time, because I can, I can play any position as long as I just – we put my mind and heart into it because I mean I can dribble, shoot, pass, one through five, but I think I'll be all right. Mike Singer, then post. Hey, Bull. Um, to follow up on the Mike questioning, he said that he, his goal is to stay in your ear. He said that, you know, you're really, really talented and that basically you just need a mindset change and to kind of embrace that and accept that. Um, how much do you agree with Mike's assessment that, you know, if your attitude, if your approach are different, then maybe there will be different results? Um, he's totally correct. And to add on to that, it's more so like consistency. It's not just like me doing it one day, two days a week. It's like I got to figure out how to put it together for a whole entire year and not just when things are going my way. Even, like, if I don't play a couple games, like, I still got to get up and cheer. And, you know, like, all those little things, that's, like, just what I need to work on. And he's absolutely correct. Sorry to follow up on that. If not Mike or if Mike, who's who's kind of taken you under your wing and told and kind of talked to you about being a pro and being kind of how this works, how, how the NBA works as a business? Has anybody in the Nuggets locker room talked to you about that? Oh, all, all, all my teammates. I mean, they're all older than me, of course. So many of them was 
much experience. So they know which how approach it which approach to take and which not to take. And I haven't been the best with this, so they're telling me like they've been helping me and they're not yelling or anything. They're just sitting me down, you need to do this, be able to do this, you know what I'm saying? So everyone has they come and give me their own mind peace of mind on what I need to do. And it's been very helpful. Not just my but like everyone. At the same time, I mean, I think Malone has also said he knows you're extremely talented. Um, how has he conveyed, you know, uh, how has how has that dynamic with, with Coach Malone um, evolved? And has he told you, has he reinforced you that he's in your corner? Um, I know he's in my corner, but like go back to say, I know he wants to see me just, I know I'm repeating myself a lot, just be consistent to show up and do everything that everyone knows I can do. I got to do every single day. And that's what he wants from me. Joel Rush, Forbes. Well, going back to Summer League, uh, how did you enjoy playing with Bones Highland? And how do you feel about the chemistry you guys were developing together? Um, that was my first time even watching Bones play. And it was really fun. We had great chemistry. And I feel like we played great together for the three games that we played. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Bull.